So the Grinnell Area Arts Council is a community-based nonprofit, and our mission is to enrich the community by supporting creative expression. We do a number of things. Education is one of them. We have a lot of classes for adults and for children to enable them and empower them to learn different arts. For a number of other things, we have a lot going on. We kind of are a hub for people to learn about the arts and to practice that kind of creativity in the community. Sometimes that's a, a need, that's a gap that we fill because if you're not enrolled in a school or if you are not part of a family that supports that kind of thing, often people have to look to other places to find ways to cultivate that sense of creativity. We also really like to encourage everyone in the community to be involved, whether or not you call yourself an artist or have had formal art training. There's a second one on this one. Do you think we could fill it with real ice cream and eat out of it? Mm, well, it's like acrylic paint and stuff, so uh, probably not. Okay, let's not do that. Well, basically what I do here at Studio 6 is I come and I help facilitate activities for kids ages K through 6 and I try to help cultivate creativity and like help kids to express themselves through art and honestly just to you know continue that interest. <laughs> we partnered with other organizations from time to time. The one that comes to mind most recently was doing an empty bowl fundraiser with Micah. But we had some local potters here who made a bunch of bowls and they raised over $2,000 to donate to Micah. The music and health program coming up is one that is a partnership by the, like the hospital and the hospice area that are kind of working with the Arts Council to bring a music therapist to Grinnell, a full-time Grinnell-based music therapist, which is a big deal because that makes services more accessible to the community. Music in the Park mm -hmm. is a huge deal over the summer, and a lot of people from Mayflower and St. Francis Manor come to our Music in the Park series because it's such a lovely time. I mean, and other people do too aren't necessarily professionals and they put together all these, they do four concerts of music and it's like a full band. This space is a big community collaboration space. <laughs> Are we going to be on TV? Uh, no, probably.